Hey guys, this is Brittany from By Brittany Goldwyn, a blog about DIY, houseplants, crafts, and a couple other things. Today I'm going to be showing you an old but super trusty DIY salt scrub recipe that I love making and it's super easy to make. So first I start off with about a cup of salt and keep the salt handy because you might need it in a little bit depending on what your preferences are for the oiliness of the scrub. Now you can use regular salt, you can use sea salt, I wouldn't recommend anything too fancy just because I really like the salt for the exfoliated properties and not really much more. So once you've poured the salt into a mixing bowl, it's time to start working with your oils. I'm working with sweet almond oil and coconut oil. You could also use jojoba oil instead of the sweet almond oil, but I do recommend keeping the coconut oil since it solidifies at room temperature. It gives the scrub a bit of um, a better consistency when you're applying it to your skin. So with the salt in the bowl, I started adding in the sweet almond oil. I did two tablespoons of this directly into the mixing bowl over top of the salt. For the coconut oil, I mentioned that this does solidify at room temperature. You can see how I'm scooping it out in its solid state from this jar. I scoop out about two tablespoons, just kind of eyeball it, and then I pop this in the microwave for about 30 seconds to a minute to quickly liquefy the coconut oil. This isn't necessary, it just makes it a lot easier to mix everything up in the bowl when it's in its liquid form. And then just dump the coconut oil into the mixture and start mixing with your spoon. It should mix up pretty easily. You should start to see it getting much oilier and don't worry, the salt does not melt or disintegrate in this mixture. Like I was originally worried it would when I made this recipe a couple years ago. It stays pretty solid as you can see. And at any point during this process, you can also grab essential oils if you'd like to add some scent. I used about five drops of eucalyptus oil and then a couple drops of lavender oil as well. It makes a wonderful wonderful scent combined with the very subtle scent of the coconut in the coconut oil. If you find that the salt scrub is too oily for your liking, you can just grab the salt and dump a little bit more in, mix it up until it's the consistency that you like. I definitely change the amount of oils I use in different times of the year. I like to use more oils in the winter when my skin is super dry and obviously a lot less in the summer when it's super humid and I'm sweating a lot. And when you're done mixing it, you can scoop it into an airtight container. I really like mason jars for this just because I always have them on hand for different craft things. Um, but you can also use upcycle containers. A lot of times if I've bought a store-bought salt scrub, I'll just save that container and then reuse it several times for a homemade salt scrub. And they work perfectly because they're already designed for salt scrubs. And that's it guys. I told you this was really easy to make. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments and make sure to subscribe if you're interested in this sort of stuff. I love combining plants with DIY and other sorts of things like that. So I'll definitely be putting more videos like that up on my channel.